mean? How do I know? Is it recorded now? Yes. Right. about the, round the back. Here we are at uh, Simon and Rob's uh, EV meetup. Her Hertfordshire EVs. Absolutely lovely day. We've got this and Lee's. BMW i3s A trio of Mark II Leafs Go Simon's uh, i3 My own personal favourite, a uh, Kia Nero. A lovely Model X. I'm sure it'll do the dance later, but this time I must turn the volume down. Don't want to get demonetized. That's all right. Kia Soul. I'm sure you'll do something a bit later. Nah, I'm not filming today. Nah? I'm saving my cameras for tonight when I almost try and kill myself in the dark. It's not bad. Ten cars? Yeah, not bad at all. Happy days. Yeah. You can put the sun with you from Oxford as well. Well, it's not me, I'm Welsh, remember. <laughs> yes, it was raining there, isn't it? <laughs> I'd be glad when I finally do get my MG. I mean, no rush for it. But it'd be nice to have the personal number plate back on. Oh, is that what you had on the yeah, previous? That, yeah, I had MG03 PJR, didn't oh, I? Perfect. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, That'd be good. Yeah. Have you, have you put an order down for it? Then? Yeah, um, uh, 1179. Yeah. So when, did they give you any sort of day? Or? People are complaining like hell, but apparently there's only like four people have had them. It seems strange again. It's, I thought someone like that, being a Chinese manufacturer, would be a manufacturer enough. Yeah. To keep it going, yeah. Why, I, I don't understand why you're waiting so long for it. Like, well, with the, according to Martin, a lot of the car manufacturers are holding off releasing their vehicles, even though they're not officially saying it, because really? they want to get the carbon footprint for the brands down next year. Because as of January the first, <coughs> your carbon footprint's got to be across the brand, not just the vehicle. Right. So if you've got a ton of cars that are like you know still got to push out and. Yes. So if you can sell the maximum number of EVs in, in next year, it'll bring down the, the total. Which means there's probably some incentive for them, isn't it? To, to, to hold back until next year. It's yeah. not fair on everyone else. No. Like, Nero, I don't get it. Nero, like, have been out for ages, and yet you can't buy one. No. Madness. Because they've got a lot of vehicles that they need. They, I reckon come January the 1st, they'll, they'll be, or shortly afterwards, they might be too but there'll be loads of them. Yeah. And there's going to be an episode coming around the Nero for me not not a review or anything like that yes but while on their radios on the radio that they have an electric car I thought great well yeah. done and then self-charging hybrid what yeah why are they doing that and the other one which was a um, there was something else there was some uh, a, a, a something else hybrid they're like three three types they're not mentioning their best vehicle no and their yeah. last two 
was stupid. It's like self-charging in itself was crap. Yeah. And then there was another one which was um, like partial hybrid. Or mm. oh, that that's the the new term, isn't it? Mild hybrid. Mild hybrid. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, the hell is a mild hybrid? Yeah. Madness. Anyway, I think we've got table booked for twelve fifteen. I found because these are the bamboo. Right. So that's why it's so kind of flexible. flexible. But does the board make a difference? The um, type of board. The size of board. They, these these are bigger because they're I think they're just called long boards. Um, the it's not necessarily sizable because you can have a, a board half the size of that and still be electric and still yeah. do the same sort of stuff. It's kind of preference. I find with with these ones over like my original Mepo that has now been sold. Um, paid for that. Okay. <laughs> um, but I found this more flexible. The Mepo was quite stiff. And with these, you can get a carbon carbon fibre version of this, right. which is very stiff, but you will go quicker because it's lighter and less flexible. Whereas this, I kind of wanted it more just to cruise in. Yes. Saying that, that will still hit about 25, 26. So That's a bit much it's, for me. it's quick. And to be honest, it's a bit... can you throttle it down to 15, say, if you were comfortable like that? Yeah, so you just, you just hold it. So um, literally, that speed mode is... You get used to now where you get to a point you're comfortable with and you just hold it there. Right. So I, I generally, my top speed is generally about 18. Yeah. And that's, whilst it's still a little bit too quick to kind of run off it, it's not silly quick that you could really do some damage. But yeah. like I said, I mean, that's why. You've gone for the full face now. Yeah. Mainly, mainly because my, my hat was really good. Yes. But oh, the uh, I think it was last Sunday and I went out for a night ride and I literally got about that much away from the pavement coming down. My hands went out, which was fine. They were covered by the thing. I got the scuff yeah, on my head. But there was nothing to protect your jawline. And if you if you land on that, you have something to do that. Yeah. Well, here we are at... Uh... Newport Pagnell uh, charger. We've been here a few minutes. The uh, you got the central nine polar chargers there. Uh, the one I'm plugged into seems to be playing up a little at the moment. It seems to be giving me a it started off with a percentage of 47% showing on the battery, and it seems to be counting down. So I don't know what that's playing at. And then over there you've got the four ionities. Uh, one of them being used by uh, an iPace. Really, really good chargers. Unfortunately, CCS only, which is no good for me, of course. Freya. And over there in the distance, there's one lone. Over there in the distance, there's one lone charger by itself. It looks like the old style that. Um, Ecotricity used, but uh, having not gone over the check it thoroughly, I'm uncertain. But uh, yeah, a good place to charge. We need something like this in Bista, really. We've been over to visit Simon and uh, Rob at uh, Heart CV today, Hertfordshire EV. Uh, small meeting, but very, very good, very friendly. Uh, met the real Gary C. Although I think I might have met him before, but uh, certainly didn't recognise him. I viewed him on the podcast, but that's about it. Didn't even know he was a thesp. Uh, where's my good lady wife? She should be around here somewhere. <laughs>